Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, hey, I am Brittany. I am a content creator from the beauty, motherhood, and lifestyle kind of areas. And I'm so happy if you are joining me again. Oh, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup review look kind of thing. I have been sent some products from Yes Style to test and review, so that's what we are doing today. I have six products to share with you and I'm going to be doing kind of a look. I already have my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows on because I don't have these products right here, but it's okay. I'd also like to add, don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoy this video. That helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more. I did not get to actually pick any of these. This was already a set that they reached out to go ahead and send me. And I agreed to, here's what we got. We've got a waterproof mascara, which um, I, don't, I don't know what this says, <laughs> but um, it looks like this. Let's take it out of the, here is the one. It says heroin make long and curl mascara, super waterproof. Obviously that's in English since so I can read it. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you guys is this eyeliner pencil and this is from Peach C and it's a slim waterproof fixie liner in, I think it's okay, deep brown. And I'm really a fan of all this packaging. It's really cute. I love this ombre on the pencil. I don't think it goes with like the whole eyeliner style, but I mean, I think it's really cute. And the logo is really cute on there too. The font. Okay, and the next thing is bronzer. I believe it's bronzer. <laughs> bronzer. <laughs> yeah, the bronzer. No, it's a contour. It's um, Too Cool for School Art Class by Roden Shading. Roden Shading. And okay, I just want to mention real quick this is so cool. Like, it's like a printed cardboard. Well, all of it's cardboard, right? But besides the plastic. But this cardboard is really like thick and it just feels really, it feels different. And maybe that because that's the ink all over it, but I really like the packaging on this one. This one's really cool. And it's in a little tissue paper thing, which is a cute little touch with the by Roden. As, whoop, oh man, that just flew across. I got the three colors right here. A cute little insert that said, art class and it, of course it has the mirror which is really cool too that's very helpful with that packaging oh my goodness i'm a sucker for packaging anyway it's got to be pleasing to my eyes <laughs> the next thing is called multi cube by i'm mimi this one i have to say i'm really excited about because i think it's so you know it's multi-functional and it's so compact and cute and very secure. <laughs> Tapes everywhere. And then the rest I can't read because it's not in English, but this is what the back of it looks like. Focus. It's got the mirror, and then it's got four shades right here. It looks to be too matte. This one looks more shimmer, and this one looks more glittery. Like it's got more glitter. A blush, and this one, it's more of a bright red. Let's do it like this, just all at once. Oh, that didn't really turn out as planned. I love you. Ooh, that's pretty bright. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty pigmented. That blush is really <laughs> pigmented. Why can't I speak to that? That blush is really pigmented. Samuel Luminous Multi Highlighter in 01 or Pink White. And it's just a multi highlighter. It says Luminous. It's got all the cute little baby pastel colors. And I'm just going to go for it and go into all of them. 
I'm sure you could like definitely pick one color and stick with that a little better. I'm running out of room on my hand. <laughs> Let's, I guess, go down here. And there is the highlight. Ooh, that's pretty bright white-ish more than anything. It's got like a pearly, no it doesn't. It looks more white. To me, it just looks like a really bright, blinding white highlight. See? I see it. You see it? Good deal. Last but not least is Glacine Water Tint. Roman Glazing Water Tint. Apparently there's eight colors. This one is an 05 Rose Splash. Okay, and there's like a little slip in here. And it says date of use. I I don't know. <laughs> to keep track of the first time you open it, I guess, or used it. And I think this is more of a stain. Hmm. Smells good. It smells like candy. It smells like candy. It smells like candy. <laughs> All right. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna do like just. It's pretty sheer, but like I said, I think it's more of a stain since it said water tint. And I think it's supposed to be like a moisturizing, kind of glossy. Let that dry a little bit. I'm curious to see what the transfer would be. So let's see what that looks like. So let's test it. Not much came off, but a little bit. And it looks like it's more like the glossy. Yeah, just a little bit came off. It's like the glossiness. But see, now I'm rubbing at it and like it's not really going anywhere. So, just a little bit. Just a little hint. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work. Like I said, I have already done a foundation, a concealer. My eyebrows, and I've set all that with the powder. I guess I can go ahead and tell you I used Catrice HD Liquid Foundation as my um, foundation. That's what this is. I used the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I used the Mali powder to set it with, and this one's in Fair because since it's winter I'm not really as this is a little bit too dark for me right now so I want it to tone that down a little bit and then for my eyebrows I used my Revlon Color Stay eyebrow pencil like I said there's three different shades you know what I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you too because why not this is the lightest. Is it even picking it up? It's like almost the same color right here, except a little lighter. And then this one's the middle shade and this one's the darkest shade. And when it's not in front of the light, the middle shade actually looks darker than the darkest, but not by much, but just like a hint. Maybe it's just the pigment of it isn't as strong as the middle color. Because I don't know, when I'm looking down at down here, like I said, the middle one looks the darkest. And the darkest looks like it's got more of an orange color to it. It's not as cool. Um, I love you. So I'm going to just be taking an angle brush going only into the middle one. So there is a lot of fallout right here. So I'm just going to tap that excess off. And start applying. take a an eyeshadow brush like a more flat fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into the same one and I'm going to get my nose I start with the perimeter of the face why not go in with the highlights I don't have any spray here with me so mm. I 
can't have a true test of how high beam we can go. All right, so. But that might be okay. Can you see that? Like, oh my goodness. That's quite bright already. I am curious to see how much brighter we can go. Okay, so that's two, like, I've dipped my brush in twice. Bring it up a little bit up here. Under the brow. Just ever so slightly. Love highlighters that actually do their job. It seems a little bit brighter. My hand was probably a little bit heavy. I feel like my cheekbones are glowing. Okay, I can't decide. <laughs> a little brand on here. I can't decide if this product, this powder smells really good or if it's my brush. It's the powder. It smells like a fresh, clean, almost like a baby powder, but better. Like, I don't know if you like the smell of baby powder, but I do because it tells me that my kid doesn't smell like poop or pee, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest here. Let me go get, um, like, run my hand under some water to where like my fingers are just damp and I'm gonna press it on and then we're gonna see if we can go any brighter. Be right back. My fingers are damp and let's just slightly pat this on. Let's see if we go any brighter. Oh yes, we did. <laughs> it's pretty bright. We are glowing right now. Thank you, yes, style. And what's the name of this product again? Emil Luminous. Well, this one's from Korea. So it is K-Beauty. This one is. Made in Korea. K-Beauty. Korea. I know I saw one of them. Said Japan. I can't read that. That's what it was. This one was made in Japan. So I'm considering all of this to be K-Beauty. Still. On to the eyeshadow. I was trying to decide if I was going to use all four colors, but I think I'm going to keep this look more simple because I'm really just testing out the products and I don't have lashes with me because I didn't bring lashes. I don't know. So I'm going to go in with that first mauve shade. This color is so pretty. You guys! Okay, I did find my... Um, Your rock! Uh-huh. We need to go see them. I gotta take a picture of our kitchen and send it to them too. Send what to them? A picture of our kitchen since we got our backsplash from them. Oh, and our bathroom. I was trying to wait till our shower door came in there. I don't know if I'm gonna light the rock yet, so... Oh my goodness. This color. I feel like my eyes have just like popped. This hair, these little baby hairs, driving me nuts. Yes, yes, I don't think I'm going, mm -mm. nope, nope, well, mm -hmm. you know what would be cool? Yeah, we're doing it. We're going in with the red. <laughs> this has officially turned into a almost Valentine's Day look. Come on. We are not getting done. Now I'm going into number two. Glow, baby, glow. And we could take it a little bit step further. And I'm thinking I just might. With that highlighter. Remember from that swatch, 
and how pigmented it was. <laughs> I'm only going to take just I'm only going to take just a little bit of blush. Be careful. Be careful. Like maybe a little more, like that much. Did you see him um, down with the nose for the rest of the day? Oh, that's really, that's really bright. Did you see That's too much. <gasps> I may have to go back in with some contour. I think that's too much. Y'all, I look like I'm blushing hard over here. This is way too much. Way too much. I even knew. I even knew. Okay, so let's go back in with some contour. I'm actually this time going to be going into both of them. Shoot, all of them. See what that does for me. Because I did not bring my beauty blender and my foundation on it. I have my foundation right here, but. Good job. I brought my foundation but on the beauty blender. Bye bye. Oops. So dang. But I've got powder. That helped a little bit. Now we are going to the liner. This is the waterproof one again, and it's supposed to be like a gel. And if you let it set for a second, it makes it's supposed to make it smudge proof. This. This way. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> This couldn't have been any better because I actually pre prefer a dark brown over a black eyeliner any day. I will pick the dark brown over a black eyeliner any day. It's so much more toned down and it, in my opinion, it just looks better. I mean, there's a time and a place for a black eyeliner, but that's like super bold. And to me, that's for more dramatic makeup. These days, I don't really do that much dramatic makeup anymore. I mean, I just don't have anywhere to wear it to. And I don't really have the time. Okay, I was gonna swatch this. It's pretty creamy and it doesn't leave any, well, I say it doesn't leave any like little patches. You know, sometimes when you use a mechanical liner, I mean, I guess it could happen with a pencil too, but for me, more so it happens with a mechanical one. And when you do a line and it like, it's, I guess it kind of is dried out and it leaves like a little club, clump, a little clob of it and it doesn't go on straight and creamy. I mean, for the most part, this one's pretty creamy, but let's see how smudge proof it is. Do you see that? And it's not on my finger. That's great. Okay. Okay. Small little line to define the eye. Just something small and simple. Because here is the most one that we're gonna do with the eye look today. That is pretty. That is pretty. Time for the other side. I'm actually going to go in to the eyeshadow again. And I'm going to put this right along my bottom lash line. Not something I recommend, but kind of brush it in. Go like that. Take it in my stuff, my highlighter. There. Da -da. So this is the super waterproof heroin make long and curl mascara. It's got a slight curve. I don't know if you saw that. I didn't pay any attention. I showed you the wand but I wasn't paying attention if there was a a bend in it or curves to it and it's a slight bend it almost looks like it has fibers in it it does i guess that's for lengthening 
but it, I didn't know it was a lengthening one. I don't know if it's a lengthening, volumizing, not really sure. But let's give it a go and see what happens. Brantley. And that was in one of the videos. You, sh you have to see it. You have seen me when I was six year old. You have seen me tell when I was six year old, but I'm seven now. <laughs> I feel like I need another mascara or curling wand crimper thing first, but I didn't bring it to let it dry. And then we'll add another coat and see how well it does because right now, like, I'm kind of not loving how, like, I'm not getting any kind of lift and my eye doesn't look much different besides my bottom lashes, so. Which is a normal problem that I usually have. When it comes to mascaras, I normally need two to lengthen and <laughs> I need two to lengthen and give me volume if I'm not doing falsies. Thanks, Brantley. You're being silly. Like I said, I like it for my bottom lashes, but I think it would be nice with, for someone who actually has longer okay. upper lash. So while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go ahead and move on to the gloss. I'm kind of nervous. I love you, mama. Hi. You're the prettiest mama I've ever seen. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so sweet. I'm kind of Frenchy. Huh? French. I'm kind of Frenchy. You're French? Mm-hmm. Oh. Like a French fry? No. <laughs> like New York. New York? That's not French? You mean like, like France? Yes. What do you think? I don't know if this really goes for this look. Thank you, baby. I like how moisturizing it feels. And the color is okay. But I don't know how I feel with it, this shade and this look. But it does feel really nice. <laughs> I must say. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm? Do you like this color? This? I think it should be more nudie. More nudish. Brownish. I don't know. I like it, but I just don't know how I feel with this. Okay. Now I'll give you my final thoughts on these products. I'm still trying to figure out about the um, mascara too. But let's start from the beginning. I started off with the bronzer right here. Looked like this right here. Um, I love that it has three colors. I think that is really cool. I also love that it has a mirror in it. I don't know if you can tell, I have this problem with a lot of bronzers and contours colors have a patch that's right here. So usually I have to use a cream right up in here to help fill in that patch and then powder over it and it, it seals it and makes it flawless, seamless. Because I didn't use a cream right there first, it's patchy. Ugh, my camera went off. I have that problem, like I said, a lot with bronzers, but I, I also wish that it had more pigment in it. I feel like I had to keep dipping into it to try to get more color pressed on. Like it came, it came off pretty easy at first and then like 
I don't know. I just felt like I had to keep layering it on to get where I need it, which is good if you want sheer coverage, but for the most part, most of the time I like more high coverage in all of my products and like really like strong pigment. But that's just me personally. But I do really like it. I do like it and I would recommend this one. Okay. The next thing that I did was highlight. And this one, while well, I have to say I did really enjoy how well the highlight actually did work. I'm glowing. I feel like I'm glowing, but there's a but there. I wish it had more of a color. I feel like it has really washed me out and I think I need something. I mean, this is fine for some looks, but I mean, I wish it had more of a, like a champagne-y or a more pearlescent not so just white and maybe maybe if i just stayed in the purple like if i just stayed in the purple like that one's just purple this one's just pink you can definitely see that one's the turquoise color and this one is the yellow i don't know if you can tell like it the pigments are there but when they are all blended together it just comes out more I guess because they're so pastel-y they just turn turn white like you see right here on my arm so I mean while I like it at the same time I wish it had more like I said like a champagne-y or like a color more of a have some kind of color tone in it to give me more than just like a bright white highlight <clears throat> and the next thing that we went to after that, I believe, was this cube. And I have a lot of feelings about this cube. I really, really think it is the cutest, compactest little thing that you can throw into your bag. And it's perfect that it has a little Mom, cute little mirror. I think it is so cute, and I think everybody needs one of these. It's just, I know they have different colors and I'm going to have to go get the other colors now because A, because these colors are perfect. The pigment is great. The shades are great. Except, uh, I mean, this one, I wish it was a little bit darker and not so like, browns are hard. Browns are hard for me. I, I mean, I think this brown is so pretty, but at the same time, I wish it was like more cool tone and a little bit darker, but I mean, it's perfect for this palette. It goes with it. It suits it. And I'd love to do some more looks with it. So, I love the eyeshadows in it. This blush, whoo, it is so pigmented. So pigmented. You saw how little bit, just a little bit that I put on here. Oh my goodness, like sparingly. I think it'd be really cool to even try it as an actual eyeshadow for some kind of like fiery look or something or for Valentine's Day or maybe even for like Christmas or whatever. But overall, this palette is a must. And I'm going to get some more. The next thing that we went to was the eyeliner. The fizzy, oh, fixie, sorry. The fixie eyeliner. This one is a must. This, oh my goodness. I love how it doesn't smudge. I love the color. I mean, it says it's waterproof and I wish I had something to test that. I mean, I can rub it. You know, I can lick my finger. There we go again. And it's not really budging. So, perfect. Perfect. So, these two, you need. You need these two. Especially for an everyday. Like, those are perfect for everyday colors. And like I said, brown is perfect for everyday eyeliner. You need that one. This mascara. I like it but I don't like it. I like it for my bottom lashes, and I think if it was paired with the right other, like another mascara, I think it would be so pretty. I also think that by itself, for someone who had longer eyelashes than mine, would be really pretty, because I feel that it gives it like, those fibers that are in it, separate it really nicely. I don't know if you can tell right here, but. I, but overall, yes, I do really like this one too. And then we have the last but not least, Glazestein 
the water tank. Sorry. I was sick all last week and I'm still getting better. And I'm getting nauseous again. This glazing water tint. I have a hard time with tints. Like finding the right shade that looks good with me. I'm still unsure if I really like this color on me. I think it's really pretty. I really do. And I love that, you know, it doesn't, it's non-transferable. And I love the way that it feels. It feels really nice. Especially since my lips are really dry and it's winter, so they're extra dry. I don't think it really goes, this color goes with this look. I think it needs something more brown-ish. Warm, nudie, I don't know. This, I just don't feel like this one is going with this look for me. I think I would like to experiment with some other colors. Those are my thoughts on that. I think it's perfect for like, you know, all the COVID crap that's going around and having to wear a mask. Like you're not gonna like lose your lips. <laughs> um, but I think this color with this look would be a no, but with something else. Thank you so much, Yes Style, for sending me these products. I do really like them. Those are just my honest opinions. I do really like all of them. I will be using them though. And the packaging, oh my goodness, my favorite for the packaging was this one, the um, contour palette. I think that is so stinking cool. But um, I don't know, I think I'm going to try to do a video, so this inspired me. I'm going to do a K-Beauty, I would like to do like a K-Beauty haul, and then do follow, I think I want to follow along on a look, like somebody who's done a K-Beauty look so that would be fun so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up let me know if you've tried any of these products or you've tried like a k-beauty trend that would be really cool i would like some you know places to start looking if you have someone to recommend to me specifically that you like their k-beauty style or a look that they've done you know that would be nice if you could shoot some um feedback my way that would be awesome thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so the next time I post, you are notified and you can stay up to date. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, week, month, year. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. It would make my eyes that big. That would make me really happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon knows what I mean. I don't want to say. If anything, I actually wipe my fingers on. <laughs> Is that silly? Like a little bit of glitter exploded on the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> Try this out, kids. I'm just too lazy to get up. It's pretty bright. We are glowing right now. Thank <laughs> you.